So y'all just pray for me that God will have his way, main thing is that God has his way and not my way. Amen. And uh, you know a lot of people, a lot of people will say, well I'll just testify. Well I'm going to give you a testimony right now. Yeah. Right now I'm what they call chief of sinners. I was a chief of sinners. And when I say a chief of sinners, Sister Jenny can tell you what kind of chief of sinners I was. She knew me from the past. And my past was rough. Now, wasn't it, Sister Judy? So now, my past was rough, but since I met Jesus, it's been a whole lot better. Amen. It's been a whole lot better. It's been a rough road, but it's been a whole lot better. Yeah. Since I met the Lord, Brother Billy, I don't have to worry about a lot of things that I used to worry about. Yeah. I don't have to worry about my next fix. Come on. I don't have to worry about whether I've got to have anything else to eat or drink anymore. Come on. I don't have to worry about that. All I got to do is fall on my knees. Anytime I need anything, Come on. fall on my knees, and God provides the way. Yeah. You think that you can live your life on your own without God, you're dead wrong. Amen. You are dead wrong. And that's what's wrong with the United States today. Come on. They have thought they can get by without God. Amen, brother. You cannot do without God. Come on. Yeah. Every time a country thinks they can do without God, then they fall. Yeah. Come on. Amen. The Roman Empire fell because they yeah. thought they could do without God. Amen. They thought themselves as God. Yeah. Anytime they think themselves as God, they try to self to claim themselves as God. They're yeah. not God. Amen. I'm sorry, they're not God. Amen. Brother Bill just stepped all over my message while <laughs> one of my messages. Brother Bill uh, Willis yeah. stepped on part of my message and then I, that I was going to preach. But that's all right, brother. I might come down there and step on one of yours one of these days. <laughs> but no, I'm going to preach what the Lord tells me to preach and do what the Lord tells me to do. Amen. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. Well, Brother Billy, I don't care if I'm first or I'm last. As long as I get in the middle somewhere there, I'll be fine. I'll Amen. be fine. And I'm so scared that I'm not going to make it every time that I hear a thunder or a lightning or anything going on in this world. I'm looking up in the sky wondering where God's coming after me or not. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't think of things like that, but I do because yeah. I'm ready to go home. Amen. I'm part of this world. I'm Come part on. of living in a world where we have to worry about whether there's going to be a bomb or something going to hit us any time. Come on. Whether they're going to be coming in our churches and it's issuing us out because we love our Christ. Yeah. Amen. Because we love our Savior. Come on. And you wait and see what I'm telling you. Pretty soon, these Muslims yeah. will have more rights than we do. Amen. That's the truth. They have more rights than we do. Amen. Because the Muslims is what's taking over the country. Yeah. Because they say they've got a God that's mightier than an God. But no. I don't think so. No. Amen. I don't think so. That brings me to something that I just thought of of a scripture. If I can find it real quick. Glory. Hallelujah. Well, while I'm thinking about that scripture, I can say it better than I can think about it. One time there was a a man stood before God, and he was a disciple of God. And these disciples of Baal decided they wanted to proved that their God was better than ours. Yeah. So, he said, well, how about this? Said, we'll just wet down my wood. We'll just wet it down. The Bible says they took three barrels, I believe it was 12 times, or three, uh, 12 barrels three times, and wet that wood down. Anybody knows anything about wood can tell you, you don't wet wood down and it catch on fire. Amen. But he prayed to the fathers of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Glory to God. Come on. You're not going to win this time now. I'm going to win. Come on. 
And the Bible says that fire come from heaven yeah. and caught that on fire. Yeah. And hallelujah. Come on. It caught on fire. Yeah. And burnt. And the sacrifices were made. Come on. And they cut themselves and everything to trying to get it happen. Yeah. And it never happened. Amen. It never happened. The Bible also talks about that one time that this man, the same man, <coughs> was looking for water for it to rain. It had rained three and a half years. <laughs> and he sent, kept sending his servant to keep, keep going checking the water, checking for water, checking for yeah. water. The Bible says that, I, that he sent his disciple to check for water. And he said, well, there's a uh, man's hand are coming this way. Yeah. He said, the water's coming. The rain's coming. Amen. The rain's coming. Am I wrong, brother? Am I, is that not Bible? Yeah. Now, a lot of people say, now, now you don't, you're not quoting the Bible, but if you don't believe me, you get in here and you read the Word. Come on. This is Word. Yeah. Because I've studied it. I've studied it too long and too much yeah. not to know what I'm talking about. Not nothing for me. I don't want nothing. Come on. All I want is glory for God. Yeah. You know, a lot of people think, well, I, he didn't get up there just talking. Well, I may be talking, but I'm talking to a Savior. Come on. I'm doing it for the Lord. I'm not doing it for man. Because yeah. if I done it for man, I'd be in a different place at a different time. Yeah. I'd have big TV cameras on me and everything else. I'd be, you know, in a luxurious place. Yeah. But I'm not doing it for that. I'm doing it for the Lord. Amen. Ain't too many times that people can do things for me. Let's go to uh, Matthew 24 before I forget what I'm going to say. said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, yes. and I shall, and they shall deceive many. Amen. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom shall rise against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes and divers places earthquake earthquake earth, earthquakes in diverse places and all these are the beginning of sorrows when then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated for all nations for my name's sake. Amen. Now, it, it didn't say that we would be loved for his sake. Come on. It said that we'd be hated for his sake. Amen. Sister Judy, in all your time of walking down the street, do you think everybody loves you? Come on. There goes that old sister going to that church. Come on. <laughs> I know they talk about you. Yeah. They talk about me too. Come on. I just give them rest. Give them somebody else rest. Thank when they talk about me, they just give them somebody else rest. Yeah. That's fine. I love it. Go ahead. Talk about me. Come on. Talk about me all you want to. 
because one of these days you're going to be talking about a guy and I'm not going to be there. Come on. I'm going to be on the other side saying, Hallelujah, I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it, I made Amen. it, I made it. Because I know where I'm going. I Come know on. where I'm headed. Yes. I'm like an old bulldog, Brother Billy. Come on. I'm like an old bulldog. I done bit my teeth into it. And yeah. I'm hanging on with everything I got. Amen. With everything I got. Because yeah. I know what I know what I know. Come on. I know what I know. Yes. And what I know is he's coming back and he's coming back soon. Amen. Amen. I don't have to have nobody to tell me that. Yeah. I can read it. Yeah. It's in the book. Yeah. If you tell me something out of the book, I don't know nothing about that out of the book. Come on. But you tell me something in the book, I yeah. know about it. Amen. I sit and watch TV and these people are crazy. These people are crazy what they bring on TV. Yeah. They're crazy. They're thinking this is happening. Now they're, they're coming across with this program, The Dome. Yeah. Which I know they're trying to sell the program, you know, that's fine. I have nothing against The Dome. But when you don't quote the Bible right, then you're messing with me. Yeah. I don't do nothing against the Bible. Yeah. Sorry. If you get mad at me, that's too bad. You get mad at the Word. They quoted the Bible wrong when they said about the dawn. The way they're bringing it out was like the horseman, the four horsemen. Brother. And they was bringing it out in a way that it's not right. And I know it's not right because the Word don't say it that way. Amen. So, the devil will try to get you to think that he is telling you the truth all the way down to the bitter end. Yeah. And when it gets to the bitter end, he's done got you. Yeah. Done got you hooked. It's like fishing for an old catfish. Mom. You got that old catfish out there, you throw, throw a rod out there, throw, a, throw your bait out there, and you're fishing for that old catfish. That, if that if that catfish is right where you where you where you throw that bait, that catfish will take that bait quick, fast, yeah, and in a hurry. And if you pull it quick, fast enough, set that hook in him, you, you got him. But if you don't, you ain't got him. Amen. But nowadays they're seeking who they may devour. Yeah. That's what the devil's doing. He's seeking who he may Amen. devour, yeah. and he's doing it through a lot of people. Yeah. He'll do it through television. He'll do it through anything that he can. Amen. He'll do it through people. He'll do it through your friends. Come He'll on. do it through your kids. He'll do it through anybody that he can. If you don't think he will, you just try to live one day as a Christian. Mm -hmm. Try to just try living as a Christian one day. And he will. He will try you every way he can. But that's when you got to hold on like an old bulldog. Like Come I said, on. just hold on to everything you got. I said, Lord, I know that you said to hold on with everything I got. Yeah. That's right. He is the first and the last. Amen. And that wasn't even what I was wanting to read, brother. I don't know why I got over there, but Lord's lead me in different directions and I'm going whichever way he's saying. But I want to ask a question of someone today. Just a little question. Where do you think you'd be today if the Lord were to come tonight? Do you think you would be in the right place? Do you think you would be right with the Lord? I know I would. But do you think you would? Make sure. Amen. Because you may not get a second chance. Yeah. You may not get a second chance in this world. This world's moving fast. And I mean fast. Yes. Yeah. I've got people coming up to me, sinners coming up to me and talking to me about the end of time. Yeah. They know it's the end of time. And they're saying, is this going to happen? Is that going to happen? I said, no, read your word. Yeah. Read your word. Read your word. Read the word. 
Read the word. Read the word. Amen. I tell them that because that's the only way they can understand it if they read the word. I can help them get saved, but I can't help them read the word. Amen. You know what I'm saying? I can help them get saved, but I can't help them get the word. Amen. And I know that God is working with me through tracks right now. I got a track in my right here. This is what I've been handing out, brother. It's what I've been giving to the people. I want them in to uh, one bridge festival, and I had 20 of them that I had our our church I was stamped on, uh, written down on the back of it. Uh, I marked out the back of that other address and just put our church, you know, I was representing our church at that yeah. time. And uh, I'm doing what I can for the Lord. Come on. I don't know any other thing to do but just do what I can for the Lord. Amen. And if I die today, I know where I'm going. Come on. Nobody has to tell me where I'm going. Yeah. You see, if you die and you know where you're going, you never have to worry about it, Brother Bill. Brother Bill, I believe you're going to heaven. Come on. You know why? Because you know where you're going. Come on. You know where you're going. Yeah, I feel like you know where you're going. Come on. I feel like you live close enough to God that you know where you're going. Brother Billy, I know you know where you're going. Amen. Sister Reese, I know the Lord. No, you do, Sister Judy. I don't know these other people. I know Sister. <laughs> I almost forgot your mama's name. <laughs> forgive me. Please forgive me. <laughs> Sister Myrtle. <Bertle. laughs> yeah. Uh, but I know y'all know where you're going. Yeah. Just make sure you know where you're going. Amen. Just make sure you know where you're going. Because it's too late in time for us not to fool around. Yeah and not know where we're going. I have one more scripture, brother, and then I'll, then I'll get out of the way. And I'll say this one. This is something that they say in this is the twenty third Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He leadeth me beside the still waters. I've not forgot it. See, he restored my soul. Help me, sister. Uh, he restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yes. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth <coughs> over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Forever. Amen. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. forever. I won't have to worry about nothing Amen. else anymore. I will dwell yes. in the house of the Lord forever. 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 That means I don't have to worry about will I be able to praise Him. I'll be able to praise Him morning, night, noon, Come on. whenever. And Daniel, I want to say a little something about Daniel too. Daniel was caught praying. Three times a day. They took him to the lion's den. Amen. They throwed him in. The lions shut their mouths, had their mouths shut. God shut their mouths. Amen. They couldn't even eat. They couldn't even eat that morsel of meat there. Yeah. But God did that. Amen. Because Amen. that was God's property. You don't mess with God's property. Amen. Amen. Jerusalem. His word, brother. It's not on that map. 
It's not on this map? Okay. Jerusalem is over here. You don't mess with Jerusalem. You don't mess with God's people. Amen. If you mess with God's people, God's going to mess with you. Yeah. Anytime you mess with God's people, you watch them. You watch what happens. And if the United States turns on them, you watch what happens to the United States. Amen. Brother, that's all I've got. I'm sorry. <laughs>